Effect. If you are new, my name is Christina, and today I'm going to share a weekend travel vlog with all of you. So, I will explain what it is later in the video, but I wanted to sit down beforehand and just talk about it a little bit. Um, I have been struggling with editing this video. I am not a travel vlogger, and I don't tend to film a lot when I'm on vacation because, you know, I'm on vacation. But I really thought it'd be fun to share this trip with you because I did take a lot of random footage, and so I'm going to try to cobble it together in the most interesting way that I can, and I will do a voiceover to explain things, but I thought that I would come and sit, kind of introduce this. This is not my normal content, so if you are new, please stick around. I have a lot of 1950s housewife content coming up. Actually, I am working on something for next week that I'm so excited about. This is just a little placeholder video for those of you who know me and enjoy seeing whatever I post, which is really, really lovely of you. Um, this is our trip. It's mostly sightseeing and antique stores. I didn't talk to the camera a lot, so I'm just going to do a voiceover and explain what's going on. Um, but I thought I would share because we had a really nice weekend away off the grid completely and um, it's just a nice memory for me, so here we go. My husband's birthday was July 1st and I am whisking him away on a little getaway to the Painted Hills of Oregon, to a Old West town, and to a little mini house. So I thought I would take you all along and do a little weekend vlog. This will probably be very relaxed. I don't know how much I will talk to the camera, but we shall see. Let's go. So the first day, of course, was pretty much just traveling. The area that we were going to stay in was about five hours of a drive away. So we sent our older kids off to grandma's house for the weekend and we took the baby with us and off we went. Hey, are you gonna go on vacation with mama and daddy? Yeah, you are. We decided to take a quick little detour to Kalama because my husband had seen that they had some antique stores and this was a really fun little antique store. It was a lot bigger than it looked. Side note, I really wish I had gotten that dresser set and I might see if we can drive back to get it because I loved it so much. And while I was using the bathroom at the end of our stay, I noticed this really creepy little head directly across from the toilet, so uh... But after we perused for about an hour, we were off and headed towards Oregon. And then finally to the desert country. We were in the desert hills of Oregon in a very, very tiny little town called Mitchell. And we stayed at this really cute little Airbnb cabin that was set up for glamping. And we really, really liked it. It was very simple. It was very quiet. It was completely off the grid and the mornings were really, really relaxed.
So, of course, being me, I packed mainly expecting to be able to take some pictures and video of my outfits. And for this first day, at least on the ranch in the morning, I wore this really beautiful Ishakti dress that I customized. Um, it came with pleats that I took out in the skirt because they were drop waist and it didn't flatter me very well. And then I had to size it down slightly. But... The morning here was just so beautiful. I was able to take some really great pictures before we decided what to do for the day. I think I was taking pictures at like 6.30 in the morning. Um, I had slept in my makeup, so I didn't have to do a whole lot that morning. I basically just did my hair and touched up my makeup and went out for photos. The cabin was set up with an outdoor camp kitchen, so you were cooking on propane with everything and everything was outdoors. I thought it was really cute. And so here we see my husband making breakfast while I was taking pictures and the baby was still sleeping. They had quite the setup. I was really impressed. Good yogurt, baby. You're not going anywhere. Sketchy face. Let you go. Mm. 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 <laughs> eh? Foot on the table. Get, get, get. So after we ate breakfast, we headed out to see the Painted Hills, which we were like six minutes away from. They are incredible. The clay is red from the swampy era of this desert area, and then it turns yellow once the area started to get more dry. But you can literally walk through the hills, not a super far way, and probably you could have hiked further, but by the time we got there, it was already 80 degrees, and we were just not equipped to hike as well as we thought. I did expect it to be hot, but I didn't expect it to be that hot. So we ended up driving around mostly and getting out in a few places to look at the Painted Hills. Um, honestly, they were so beautiful and it was so fun. And I got to take more photos. This is the same day as the other outfit. I just decided to change because I thought this outfit would look better against the Red Hills. And I'm so glad that I changed. Waiting in the car for daddy. <laughs> so we're waiting in the car because yeah, 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 yesterday yeah, I told Nehemiah yeah, it would be really fun yeah, yeah. to make some sort of short film while we're out here because why not? This is a location we don't get very often. So he's shooting some shots um, and I'm just sitting yeah, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. baby. <laughs> You're so cute. It is currently almost 80 degrees at 10 o'clock in the morning. Wow! It's currently almost 80 degrees. We're gonna try and find some things to do in air conditioning. The, the place we're staying it has no cooling at all, not even a fan, so it's fun. Yes, I do. you all the time. I like to. We decided to go on a little drive to a place called Primeville, and we stopped in this really cute diner. It was like 80s, does 50s, very old hometown. I mean, it's what I imagine a dated diner in your hometown that never changes would be. But I really liked it. It was very nostalgic. And you can see Freya also really enjoyed the fries. 
And then we decided to poke around and see what kind of antique stores were there. This one had so many lamps, so many lights. I think it was an antique store specializing in lighting and the guy that runs it is very knowledgeable in lights. They had a few other really cool trinkets, including this stove, which was incredible, this birdcage that I really wanted, and a dresser that I also kind of really wanted. I contemplated getting a few vintage photos, but I don't have anywhere to put them right now, so I left them behind. And then here is a thrift store that we went to. I almost got this little painting of this boy. Here's some exciting things that I found. And then this footage is from the next day. <laughs> On our way home, we stopped in Redmond, Oregon, and we went to this amazing massive 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 antique store which was literally like a maze we were walking through getting lost we couldn't figure out if we had even gone the right way and the really nice thing was that we got there so early nobody was even there so we had the whole place to ourselves um and i found this really creepy bunny cookie jar which looked like it wanted to kill somebody so uh, we had a lot of fun walking through I picked up a few things which I will show you later in the video and this was pretty much the last thing that we did before we headed home. And then before we just hit the road for home we decided to stop at a dam. There's something very fascinating to me about dams and how they're just holding back this massive lake of water on one side and the other side is just a straight drop down to a little river. There's something just really incredible about that. Um, we thought about going to find a place where we could actually dip our toes into the water because it was almost 100 degrees. We were all hot and tired, we all needed a break, but just walking around on the dam was enough. And as you can see, we were getting back into our greenery and that was basically the end of the trip. And that was that! I hope that you've enjoyed seeing that. I thought before I go, I would show you what I got at the antique stores that we visited. So the first store that we stopped at was the Kalama Antique Store, which you saw with the really creepy head in the bathroom. And um, I honestly really wish I had gotten that dresser set, but it's fine. Maybe we can take a little day trip down there and get it someday. But I did pick up two things. First of all is a Cody Airspun powder container. This is something that I saw and got on impulse, but it actually is going to serve a purpose. Um, it's empty. It, mostly empty. Um, I'm considering whether I can fully clean it out and actually put my own powder in this because one of the things that I'm doing for my 1950s Housewife series is makeup that is all from the 50s. This is a case from the 50s and I have this same brand of powder to use so it might be fun to see if it will fit in here. Um, but I just got this for aesthetic purposes for the 1950s Housewife series because I thought it'd be more fun to show this than it would to show the modern packaging of the Airspun Cody powder. And then at that same store, I got this really pretty pink Kleenex holder. Um, it did not come with the Kleenex. And <laughs> if you guys, do I need to purchase like special tissues to put in here? Because every time you pull one out, they all want to come out. Um, so we've had to like just stuff them back in, but I thought this was really pretty and my husband has a lot of allergies So we always have a box of tissues around and I just think tissue boxes are ugly This was made way prettier. The next place we stopped at was a thrift store and shockingly I only got two things the first thing that I happened upon is actually for my mom and it is this chicken lamp uh, my mom collects chickens, really likes chickens, and this is, I love these lamps, and she's always had various lamps like this, so of course I had to get it for her. It was $20, which is more than I usually spend at the thrift store on one single item, but it's so perfect, and it works, and it's so cute, and she's got an empty space in her new chicken wall because they just moved, so obviously I had to get this. And the other thing that I got there was actually a really, really exciting find. Um, the box is a little bit of a mess because I was going to try these on, but I found a 
new in box vintage package of nylon fully fashioned stockings by the brand Bell Shamir. It was a dollar. There are two uh, sheer stockings in here, two sets, and also the little um, about card that tells you the different sizes and what they mean. So I almost picked up some vintage slips to sell, but I had decided to completely dissolve my vintage selling and I am posting everything that I have to sell over on Airhouse Vintage Instagram page, which I will link down below, for very, very cheap. It's almost all $35 or under. Um, it's just one too many things to be doing especially with four kids, and I would much prefer to focus all of my time on YouTube and writing, so eventually I will not be selling vintage anymore. I'm kind of hoping to get everything posted by the end of this month and just be done with it, but we will see. The final place we stopped, which was the final antique store that you guys saw, was massive. This place was huge. I could have spent all day there. I wish that I would had all day to spend there. There was so much that I wanted to look at and so many things I wanted to consider and bring home. But in the end, I only picked up two, no, three. I picked up three items and it will come as no surprise that two of them are strawberry. So the first thing that I spotted was almost as soon as we walked in the door and it is this vintage strawberry mug. So I immediately grabbed this. It was five or six dollars. It was very inexpensive. And I, if you know my channel, you know I have a big thing for strawberries. So that is another thing I was going to let all of you know if you would like to see like a strawberry tour maybe just everything in my kitchen that is strawberry, I can make that video. I have gotten to a point in my kitchen where I really, really like the way that it looks. There are a few minor things I want to do decoration wise, but overall, I'm very happy with my kitchen and it is strawberry themed. So if you would like to see a kitchen tour or just a strawberry tour, <laughs> Um, I will make one because I think that'd be really fun. But that was the first thing I found there. And then I also picked up this little set of earrings. They are 1960s clip-on earrings. I really like big plastic, like soft plastic earrings. So they were $5. I had to. And lastly, this is my absolutely favorite thing that I got. Um, I literally gasped. My husband called me over to look at it and it is a strawberry pie plate. <gasps> oh, it's so beautiful. I, <laughs> I grabbed it immediately. It was $25. Totally worth it. I actually collect pie plates, but I've never seen a strawberry one. I have apples and I have blueberries and I have, um, actually I have several different apple pie plates and blueberry and I think cherry. Uh, and I'm so delighted. I'm so delighted by this strawberry <laughs> pie plate. So that is all that I picked up and that is it for the end of this video. Don't forget, if you want me to post a strawberry tour in my kitchen, I will do that. Subscribe if you like my vibe, if you wanna see 1950s content. Next week, I'm going to be hopefully putting out some more 1950s housewife series content. Um, and yeah. That's pretty much it. Thank you for sticking around for this very off the wall <laughs> travel video. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. As always, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what your favorite thing was down below if you had any favorite things. I hope that wherever you are, you are feeling safe and loved. And until I see you again, have a beautiful day and thank you for watching. Bye.